Charmila Raman, a villager from Tamil Nadu in southern India, is a victim of the recent flood that has devastated her modest hut and caused her so much sorrow. But now she's hopeful and smiling again. A representative of the Alliance Insurance Company has come to see her. Jamila has a micro-insurance policy that will cover part of the household damages. Our peaceful stream turned into a raging torrent of destruction, she says, and shows Jamuna Paskar, the regional insurance manager, her damaged hut. Jamuna is friendly and eager to help. She wants to make people realize that the novel micro-insurance scheme really works. In such a case, Goddess Lakshmi, Ganesha or the Virgin Mary may help spiritually. But the insurance company is the one that gives people financial help which will allow them to rebuild their lives. These people uh, have not made enough provisions for uh, uh, some fortuitous events like uh, sickness or accident. And uh, we understand that. We understand that a family could entirely get into a debt trap. The SHG group people had told me to take out this insurance. This was much before the rain sometime last year. I didn't realize at the time that it would bring me relief by way of money. And I did not expect it. I was therefore very impressed that these insurance people came here and gave me money. Like in Jamila's case, the existence of nearly 700 million low-income people in India's villages are endangered when illnesses or natural calamities suddenly strike. They simply do not have the money to bear the high expenses that they have to suddenly bear. An insurance that offers financial assistance in the case of accidents and also covers medical expenses or household damages can be a real blessing. For such pilot projects, Alliance is cooperating with development organizations like CARE, which has founded self-help groups in the rural areas. These women's groups look after the insurance enrollments of the villagers. In the case of an illness, they settle the insurance claims using the funds generated at the local level. When they come together like this and do it on their own, we can keep down the expenses, keep down the premiums and make it affordable to their level. And we, can, we, we, we have also seen that it works, community-based programs work. Between 2.5 to 4 euros are paid by the women as a yearly premium to the micro-insurance schemes to cover their families. This covers a part of the household damages, as well as medical expenses after an accident up to the tune of 80 euros. In the case of death, an amount of 25,000 rupees is paid out, about 300 euros. Since insurance in the villages is an unknown concept, Alliance, together with its Indian partner and care, are trying to bring the idea closer to the women. Bollywood-like role plays and puppet shows portray those daily situations that are all too familiar to the local women. It might still take a few years more for insurance to reach the people at the bottom of the economic pyramid. But the market is huge. 40 to 50 million people in southern India alone are potential customers. The women in Sikal are quick to understand the system of micro-insurance. Women's movement is very strong and there is a lot of social capital around that. We wanted to leverage that. And it's not that the women out here, they have insured for themselves alone. They have insured for their husbands, they have insured for their entire family. And also, it is said that if you convince the women, you can convince the whole of the village. After the play in Sikal today, 50 women rush to sign up for a micro-insurance policy. Every month, there are some 200,000 new members that join the growing Indian Alliance family. <laughs>